Welcome to Revising with Ravenscroft. In today's video, we are going to focus on the nine mark question on desert opportunities and challenges. Be sure to watch the prerequisite videos on the link before getting into this one. Our question today is using a case study to what extent have opportunities for economic activity been developed in your chosen environment? Now before we answer this question, we need to break this question down. Our case study is the Western Desert. To what extent means how much do you agree? An opportunity is the chance to do something. Now in this case, it's to make money. Economic activity can include farming, mining, tourism or energy. Now we have broken down the command and the keywords, we can simplify this question. In the Western Desert, how much do you agree that tourism, farming, energy or mining can make money? Now, Before we answer this question, we need to know how we are going to be assessed on a to what extent nine market. Now there are three assessment objectives, and these are often referred to as AO1, AO2 and AO3. Now, we first need a piece of knowledge about the Western Desert Opportunity. Once we've done that, we then need to show understanding and explain the effectiveness of that opportunity. Once we have explained, we then need to evaluate by providing limitations to these opportunities. This is then followed by an overall judgment. To answer this question, we need first a statement that introduces our answer. Next, we need some knowledge. Now we know that mining copper, lead and uranium is practiced in the Western Desert. And we have some facts that go with it. Now to explain its effectiveness, we know that uranium provides energy security for nuclear power. We know that jobs increase standard of living and quality of life. But we also know the damage to habitats, the threat of the radioactive material and the lack of access that can be costly to these minerals. So now that we have our arguments, we now need to base a conclusion on this. So how does it look in a paragraph? Here's our intro statement. Here is that piece of knowledge. Here's our explanation. Here's our evaluation. Finally, let's look at our conclusion. There we have our first paragraph. Now, we need our second paragraph, so let's do the exact same structure, but for tourism. We first need our introductory sentence. We need our knowledge. We need our understanding. We need our limitations. Now we've evaluated, we need our second conclusion. There we have it. This is our second paragraph. Now, that paragraph, let's look at it in detail.
thank you for watching. And for more information on revision techniques for geography, don't forget to like and subscribe.